You're watching the Auction Network. Welcome back to the Stars for Cause auction happening right here at the Hollywood Museum. Well, Nicolosi's art is going fast. Let's get back inside, see how much money is being raised by this amazing event. Oh, Jack Nicholson, the king of Hollywood, and I want you to be right here. At 1,000, now 500, now 1,000. At 1,000, now 15. At 1,000, now 15, 15, 15. For Jack Nicholson, you live in there, 15. At 15, 15, now 2, 2, 2, now 2, now 2, now 2, now 3. At 2, got now 25. At 2, now 25, a little 25. At a 10 or $12,000 painting, Jack Nicholson, 25, I got now 3. 3,000, I got 25 right there, you live at 3. At 25, now 3, 3, got it, now 35. At 3, one of the 35, you live at 35, and I live at 35, I got it now 4, 4, 4. At four, got it at 45. Five, five, worth 12 grand if it's worth a dime. At five, one of the 45, one of the five, 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 I got it up 55. At 55, I got it up 6,000. At 6,000, come on, let's have some fun and buy it. 6,000. At 6,000 dollars, put it on one of the cruise ships. At 6,000, you can write it off twice. At 6,000 dollars, 55, one of 6,000. At 55, Jack Nicholson, get him at 6,000. At 55, six, I got it up 65. At 65, any other bits at 65, do you want to do it? 65, do you want to do it? 65, I got it on 77. The Lord's perfect number. Bless the Lord and buy 7,000. Come on, rock and roll and buy. Seven I got. Now 75. And seven, he's going to ordain you. At 775. At 775, 5, 5, and that's 75. That might baptize you. 775, 75. He said, no. Salt. 7,000 goes to the Melbourne Bread Collection. This piece is from The Devil Wears Prada, Meryl Streep, and it was right after she won her Golden Globe Award on January 15th of 2007. And, uh, now, did she sign up there at the Golden Globe? Yes, she signed it backstage uh, in the one-on-one -on -one room on the set of Entertainment Tonight. I got 3,250, now 5, 3,500, 32, 35, I got it at 4, 4,000, 35, I got it at 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 49, now 5. 5, I got enough 55. At 55, I got enough 6,000. At 6,000, I got about 8 bitters. 6,000. At 6,000, 6, 6, 6, 6, 9, 9, 9, 9, 6, 9, 9, 9, 6. I got it ahead of you, sir. You're out. How much? 61, 62. What the heck, right? 62, got it. Now 65. 65 in the back. Now 67, 50. I got three or four bitters here. 67 and a half. 67 and a half and now 7. 7, 7, now 7,000. 67, 50, what about 7,000? 67, 50, what about 7,000? Now he's got it. 7, now 72 and a half. One of the greatest actresses ever. 72 and a half. Get your hand in the air. At 72, 50, what about 72 and a half? At 75, what about 7,500? 75, I got it. Now 77, 50. At 77, 50, what about 77, 50? What about 77, 50? 75, what about 77 and a half? Tell me yes or no, Martin. 77 and a half. Anybody else? Sold 7,500 going to Austin, Texas. I'm not doing the bidding. Thank you. God bless you. One of the most important elements of a successful auction is to have a good auctioneer. The auctioneer is absolutely 100% the most important person in the room. He creates the excitement. The auctioneer is supposed to get this whole thing exciting, create an atmosphere where people want to bid and desire these items. His job is to get the most money out of the room and he has got to stay with the item, stay with it, until every last penny is achieved. I look the crowd over, sometimes I make a comment like, uh you know, uh, you've got a million dollar smile, spend some of it, you know. 750, now 10, do you feel bad, sir, that you're buying it too low? Do you want to raise your own bid? Things that create humor, fun, and excitement at an auction that relaxes people, creates a desire for them to bid. The difference between online auction and live auction is kind of like watching a uh, football game on television or going to the actual stadium. There is an atmosphere that you can't get online. I believe people are born with gifts. 21 of a 30, 30,000, you could have been 40 now, 50,000, you could have been 60 now, 70,000. I was born that way. <laughs> Lot 60, Hillary Rodham Clinton's portrait by Nicolosi. You could get 50,000, we could have 100,000. How much? Oh, Mercy, you're on a thousand. Well, I want 30 or 40,000. 5,000, now we're talking. Who gets 7,500? 5,075. You're talking about the first possible woman president in the history of the United States. 7,500, get your hand up. 75, 75, I got it now 10. 10,000, 75, bid now 10. 10,000, now that it's 75, out of 10. I got 8, now 10. 8,000, bid now 10. 10,000, at 8,000, now 9, now 9,000. 8,000, bid you to be 9. 
85, I got it, now nine. 85, whatever, 9,000. 85, now nine. 85, now nine, 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 whatever, nine, 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 whatever, 9,000. Who said I got nine, now 95? Give me 10. Who wants to pay 95? Come on, give me 10. At 10,000. At 9, 10, 10,000. Come on, Mel. At 10, I got it now, 11,000. 11,000, I got 10 million to 11. 11,000 on a $50,000 painting. Hit it else. 11,000 going once. 11,000 going twice. Ladies and gentlemen, the big buyer tonight, give him a big round of applause for $10,000. Stand up, Bill. Stand up. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, what a giving heart buying tonight. Don't move a muscle. There's still a lot more from Stars for a Cause Auction when we come back. I buy lots of stuff at auctions, especially jewelry. At auctions, I usually buy sports memorabilia because I collect it for my husband. Primarily antique furniture. Uh, I try to look for old pictures at auctions. A Nissan Stanza. I spent $300 on an old chair. It was a folding chair that was featured in the history of folding chairs. To register for future live auctions, go to auctionnetwork.com.